Dan Lane is your local election headquarters. We've done many stories on the abortion and marijuana amendments on the ballot, but many voters likely have a few questions about the others. One of them is Amendment 5, which ties one of the homestead exemptions to inflation. News Channel 8's Ty Russell is here with us in studio tonight to explain what the amendment's all about. Yeah, Jen and Josh, if Amendment 5 passes, homeowners will likely see a reduction in property taxes. But an economist with the University of Tampa says not by much. So for the average homeowner in Florida, it may not make much of a difference. Projections suggest that the average homestead uh, taxpayer would have about $7 of savings the first year. University of Tampa economics professor Abby Hall Blanco is helping to paint a clearer picture of Amendment 5. If passed, it could tie one of the $25,000 homestead exemptions to the yearly inflation rate. But this could provide some relief to homeowners, particularly homeowners who've been in their houses for a while. Supporters argue it could encourage more people to own homes while saving money. But critics fear if one group saves money, others may be forced to pay. Renters, businesses, as well as people who have things like second homes or other properties in Florida. Depending on the route local governments take, critics argue the amendment could cause funding for police and fire to drop. There is the possibility that it could limit local government's ability to increase or to levy taxes. Although Hall Blanco explains why that's still uncertain. We've seen that uh, the taxes that have been collected by s state and local government have increased over the years because we've seen so much growth in uh, home ownership and growth in building. But the amendment keeps school districts from being impacted. School districts who would still be able to levy taxes to pay for uh, lo our local schools, um, they would not lose the ability to levy those taxes. Now this is an amendment placed on the ballot by the legislature. Now that means you won't see a financial impact statement, which is that additional language explaining the cost of passing the ballot measure. I'm Ty Russell, 8 on your side.